I get asked often, are there botanicals to prevent sun damage? And the answer is yes. So let me just tell you how you would use botanicals to prevent sun damage. So the first thing you want to do is you want to eat the rainbow diet. The rainbow diet, the deep colors are rich in antioxidants and antioxidants are what you need to prevent the damage from the sun because UV damage, UV sun damage is free radical damage. So eating the rainbow diet and taking supplements, supplements like turmeric or green tea supplements, astaxanthin is a really good supplement to prevent UV damage coming from the sun, really high in antioxidant. You want to apply those same compounds that are in the foods that you eat on your skin topically. And you can do that with some really good extracts for skincare. So the ones I've found that are pretty common would be sunflower, sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, olive oil, these are pretty common in, especially in aromatherapy where we use them as a, a full-on base. They're really nurturing for the skin, they're protective, they're moisturizing, and they're documented to prevent sun damage. Here's the key about the rainbow diet, the supplements, and topical antioxidants. You want to saturate, you want to build this up into your skin because all the research points to a, a period of time that there's a buildup. Well, if you're saturating the skin, it's not about reapplying, it's about keeping that saturation nice and deep. So every day you're eating the rainbow diet, every day you're taking supplements, and every day you're putting on antioxidants. Some of my favorites along with the olive and the sunflower and the coconut are blackberry seed and cranberry seed oils. These are really, really deeply colored vegetable oils and excellent in facial care. I use them in almost all of my face care. Uh, frankincense CO2 extract. The essential oil works, but I'm kind of pointing to the CO2 extract when it comes to that's a super critical extract for those people who aren't familiar with that terminology of CO2. So it's a, an extract that brings out some of the larger compounds in the oil. So sea buckthorn, pomegranate, astaxanthin is a CO2 super critical extract. Really, really good in skincare. You only need about 2%, a very small amount of, of, of those. It's really about those vegetable oils more than anything else. But the essential oils that I've found documentation on are sandalwood with the santalol is a compound that they've researched. Clove is another good one, but clove is kind of weird in skincare. So, you know, it's a high antioxidant oil, really good. Yeah, 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 it'd be good. But it's, it's, it's not exactly a smells like skincare kind of oil. So those would be the oils to do. And I actually put those together. So I'm, I'm going to show you how that works um, on my skin. I don't know if you can see that red color. Of course you can. I can see it right there. And why am I wasting this on my hand? Don't need to do that. So that's the color. You know, what you're seeing there in the red, that's astaxanthin. Astaxanthin, that's what makes salmon uh, the color that they are. And I actually tell you, salmon on your face is really good. And I'm almost putting salmon on the face by using the blackberry seed and the cranberry seed, the raspberry seed. And with the astaxanthin, I've, I'm coming close to putting a salmon on my face because that is oxidative protection. Are high powered antioxidants that are known and have been documented to prevent sun damage. You can check out some of this information on my website, jimharrison.com. I will see you there.